What's up guys, welcome to the best Mac apps of 2012 version point two. If you missed the previous version, here's a quick look at the apps that I went over. Alright, let's get started right now. Nova Bench. Now this application, when you ha when you install this, I recommend you restart your computer, make sure you don't have any other apps running, and then just start the test. And at the end of the test, it's going to give you a number. Um, basically, it's just going to tell you how good your computer is. And uh, in the comments below, tell me what model of Mac you have, and then tell me what number you got when you ran this. But that's pretty much it for that one. I mean, you're probably going to use that application maybe once a year, so you can uninstall it after you run it once, just to let you know how good your Mac is. Anyways, next one is XLD. I use this for converting uh, audio files, mainly free lossless audio codec files, and I convert it to Apple lossless. Just because iTunes does not really support uh, free lossless audio codec very well. Uh, I know I've been able to play them in iTunes. I don't know if I've used an add-on for that. But it's just a pain in the butt to use free lossless audio codec with iTunes. Mainly because iPods don't support that file type. Um, but you can convert whatever to whatever using that. Whatever audio files to whatever you want. Um, but that's pretty much it for that one. I mean, it's simple and regularly updated, and it's free as well. Transmission is the best torrent downloading client for Mac, hands down. Uh, uTorrent, I don't even know what uTorrent is anymore. You know? As a matter of fact, I never used uTorrent before. Maybe just a couple times for PC. But let me tell you, for Mac, Transmission is hands down the best torrent downloading client for Mac. It's just, it beats uTorrent in every way for me. The speeds are faster with this. The simplicity of this is astounding. And for advanced users, it's also got, you know, things you can mess around with. But really, for the simple user, all you have to do is install it and uh, make it your default, you know, torrent downloading client. And when you download, when you double click a torrent file, it's gonna add it to this, it's gonna start downloading. And uh, once it's done downloading, it's going to start seeding it. And you can stop stop from seeding it. And what seeding is, is basically uh, you're uploading what you just downloaded to other people. I recommend you seed to at least a ratio of 0.1. Or, I mean, not 0.1, 1.0 before you delete it. I know my ratio kind of sucks. But anyways, you don't really have to know about that. Just It's a great torrent download application. recommend you check that one out. Next one is day one. <clears throat> I don't really keep a journal at all, but this is the best diary application I've seen. I've tried out multiple diary applications, and this one looks to be the best one for Mac. Um, it supports iCloud. The only thing you can't do with this is attach photos or videos or audio clips, stuff like that. But I'm sure it's going to come out in the update. In, in an update, Jesus Christ, very soon. Alright, next one is uh, Google Chrome. I'm just going to say this is the best web browser. That's all I'm saying. Next one is Coconut Battery. This is going to show what your maximum charge is with your battery. Mine's at 97%. And for it being an 8 month old Mac, that's really good. So don't like, if your Mac is 8 months old and it's way less than this, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised because I barely unplug this computer, um, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a MacBook. But anyways, next one is Bay Beat Tunes Three. Um, I'm not gonna go over it very well in this video. I'll probably make a separate video for this, but I'm just gonna explain what it does. Basically, if you have a huge iTunes library. It's going to scan it, it can analyze it, and it's going to tell you the problems with your iTunes library. And you can uh, have it so it fixes them automatically, which is kind of a risk because it may not do a good job at fixing it. And it may make a bigger mess, but this is a good way of letting you know what's wrong with your iTunes library. It, it can also find out the beats per minute for songs. But, you know, I'll just say that for a whole other video. Um, 
anyways that's that's it for version point two um, really I've gone over all the ma the the applications that I've used with my Mac I mean these are the main ones that I use so I mean it'll probably be another couple of weeks before I make another video on other apps that you probably don't know about I mean I do have other apps like Microsoft Word and stuff like that but you all know about that so I'm gonna have to do some digging around to find some applications and test them out thoroughly before I make a video but if you enjoyed this, uh, thumbs up, and stay tuned for the bloopers I think I'm going to put in the end of this one. I don't know. Quick look at the apps that I went over, but let's just start right into the... Motherfucker of God shit.